Warning. Warning. This show contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City Puerto Rican decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Crotch Shot Radio Show. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, and now, the weepy, the weepy. Welcome to the Crowd Shot Radio Show where we kick the issues in the balls. We are on an active war against bullshit. We would do anything and everything to expose bullshit. The ends sometimes justify the means. So if you're angry and want the truth exposed, then strap and then prepare to be shocked. This is Smash Mouth Talk. If you cannot accept that, then fuck off. This is libertarian talk. I am your host, Louis B. I take no bullshit from nobody. I actually expose the bullshit of society and chop it up into easy to digest chunks for you tonight. Won't be any different. Um, look, let me, you know, it's gonna sound like, oh, why are you, why are you backpedaling? Why are you backpedaling? Listen to my previous shows. I was, um, you know, I, I, I've been, you know, very skeptical of Trump. I've done I did a show that either Hillary or Trump were both screwed. I should have listened to my first instinct. I'm just going to put it out there. I should have listened to my first instinct. Uh he talked a good game. He talked he did he spoke a good game. He kicked a good game, man. I I can't even It just um Uh, I thought he was America first. I thought he was America first. This shit with Syria? How does this help America? Oh, well, we needed to. We needed to go bomb the crap and kill other people because some other people that were not Americans got killed. And I hate to sound like that. But, you know, let's really put it in perspective here. It is Syrians killing other Syrians. And that's... And, and I'm not even going to go into... Well, I'm, I'm going to later go into, like, some of the... You know, some of the conspiracy theories I'm hearing some uh, hearing about. Um... I, you know... It, it's... Who the shit is he... Like, everyone kept saying, Oh, well, he's surrounding himself with... With globalists, he's surrounding himself with globalists, and we're like, no, 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 you know, it'll be fine. They, they're not really globalists. They, they're, they're trying. They, they're gonna help us. They're gonna help. Mm, wrong. Whoever's advising Trump to do this stupid shit is exactly who the globalists want in there. The globalists, New World Order, whatever you want to call them. They're advising him. They're they're baiting him because he's easily to be he's easily baited, and that's that's best case scenario. That's the best case scenario if he's being baited. That's the best case scenario we got. Oh well, you know he, he's being played for a fool. Worst case scenario, more than likely, we got played. 
And, I mean, the thing is, I really did not want Hillary. And the rest of the fucking candidates, even the Libertarian candidate, holy crap. Really, Gary? Really, Gary? I'm sorry, it, it's, 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 he needs to be like Grandpa Ron, man. Liber we need a Libertarian candidate like Grandpa Ron, man. You know, Ron Paul is the only one that's been spitting truth since this whole shit started. Just go go to the Liberty Report. Just really check him out. Uh, it, it's now now we're talking about we're gonna we're gonna go after North Korea. Like honestly, you really want to go after? Like honestly, I'm not even worried about that fat fuck. He's talking shit. His fucking missiles, like, whatever, he doesn't have the fucking technology to shoot a missile freaking not even close to fucking Japan. I don't believe that shit. Oh my god, it hit the... Like, I swear to god, if one of them rockets fucking hits my fire escape, I'm going over and fucking them up my damn self. That fat fuck. We cut off his money supply. Like, there, there's a documentary how we cut off his money supply. His, like, his play money supply. He's, he has, he ha he's letting his own people fucking starve to death. Kill them if they fuck, they, he kills his own people if they fucking try to sell, like, pastry cakes that he allows his own people to have, like, once a year. And they try to fuck, you know, it, it, it's like, you got, you got these fucking cocksuckers over here. We want communism. We want communism. We want socialism. Look at fucking North Korea. Look at fucking North. You got those people busting their balls, eating, having to eat fucking sawdust with their rice so that way they don't fucking starve to death. And there's still people fucking dying. And if they fucking peep up, like, hey, can we, like, get an orange or something? Pew! Goodbye. And that's what you fucking idiots want. That's well, not you idiots, but you know those fucking leftist assholes. That's what they want. And then you know, and, and, and look, look, yeah, I was like, I was a Trump supporter, yeah, but I'm not a Trump worshiper. If he's gonna fuck up, like, he's like, oh well, how come you're not standing with your guy? If he's doing wrong. How do you want me to just be like all blindly like, yeah, we should just follow him? No! That's not how this shit works. This is America. You fuck up. We're gonna fucking hold your feet to the fire till you do right. Don't freaking start judging me because I'm not fucking gonna be all lock and step with this son of a bitch. I'm not. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You're going to fucking start bombing innocent people. You're going to start uh, continuing this shit. You're getting shitty intelligence. Maybe, maybe, maybe they were right. Maybe part of it was right. Maybe he is an idiot. I know, I know Ron Paul wouldn't have fallen for that shit. I know Ron Paul wouldn't have, uh, he would have been, he probably would have surrounded himself. He would with a full heart. I mean, you know. Honestly, I don't know, man. It, it, Ron Paul probably would have been president. We probably would have been electing him to a fucking second term if he had the fucking fight. Fucktard did. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe he was, maybe he was fucking selected from the start. They're like, yeah, let's throw him a bone. Get all these patriots uh, asleep, make them make them think that they got their guy in, so that way they don't gotta fight. They don't feel like they have to fight. Sorry, you guys gotta fucking wake up. <laughs> we got a battle. And basically, it's just gonna be us having to do ourselves. I will refuse the draft. I'm not gonna fight. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna fight these illegal wars. I believe every soldier out there should fucking lay down their arms, go home. 
take it. Well, no, not lay down your arms. Fucking take it with you. Fuck it. It's on me. <laughs> Fuck it. My tax dollars pay for it. It's on me. You guys can keep it. As long as you use it to defend us on American soil. And what the fuck has Trump done for the veterans yet? He hasn't done jack shit. Jack shit. Like, can someone, can someone please let me know what the fuck is going, what, what, what is he doing? What is he doing? Like, oh, okay, we're gonna bomb Syria, we're gonna, because, and look, let me, let me just put it, like, aside from all the other side shit, let's, re let me put it like this. Let's say, and I'm probably oversimplifying it. Let's say your next door neighbor, you know, their the neighbors, the family, their family, they're, they're fighting, they're killing each other. Well, not killing each other, but they're fighting. They're fighting, they're carrying on, they're getting violent, they're getting, you know, over there. Would you go over there and fight, who, take a side and fight whoever, whoever's battle over there? No. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Especially when you don't know the full story that's going on. It, it's, sorry, it's America first. It's America first. None of our business. And that's if, and, 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 and you know, and that's aside from, you know, the other shit that I'm hearing that, you know, it wasn't sarin gas, it was... It was freaking, uh, 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 um, what you call it, uh, uh, chlorine gas. Because if it was sarin gas, you they wouldn't be able to be hosing nobody down because it would still be, it would be too dangerous for that. Can someone? You know, can someone let me know what the fuck? I mean, like, what is he doing? And that's even, and aside from the fact, you know, it's like, okay, Syria asked Russia to help. Okay, Russia wants to go in? Fine, they were asked. Why are we there? No one asked us for help. Why are we spending money? We obviously, we, we supposedly don't have for Meals on Wheels, which... I mean, I only use that example because the left, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't got money for Meals on Wheels, and then they got Meals on Wheels. First of all, the government funding is only 1%. The rest comes from private donors. And when it comes to shit like that, here's an idea. If you really support that, how's about you open your goddamn wallet and donate? Hmm? How's about y'all do something? Stop expecting the government to constantly do shit. Hmm? Why we always con why we have to work like oh the government should do this, the government should do that. Okay, have you guys read the fucking constitution? Mm -hmm. Like can can you know there's some shit that really the government should not be doing. He got rid of Bannon. It, 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 it's like <laughs> why? The one dude that says, hey, put our feet to the fire, hold us accountable, oh, he's gone. Now we got all these fucking idiots. So. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Like I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a. Look, look. Like I'm not a Trump worshiper. I, um, my my support for him was always conditional. I'm not gonna if he's doing wrong. I am going to I'm going to fucking speak on it. I mean, and and, and like the problem is, you, you, like you got all these Trump supporters out here. He's like, oh, I'm still with my president. I'm still with my president. You fools! You need to hold his feet to the fire. You need to freaking let him know this shit is not cool. You need to do <laughs> like we got shit to do. You what? You thought that? Oh, he's in. Oh, just wipe. Just fucking dust yourself off. Okay, well, my job's done. No, motherfucker, look what happened. It's the first three months was all right. We're we're gonna we're doing good. We're doing good. And here come the globalists, and they fucking infiltrated the White House. Ah, shit. They only allow they they only allowed him to have these fucking advisors, these fucking globalist fucking cocksucking advisors around him. Can <laughs> I'm pissed off. You know, I'm I'm cursing a lot. I'm like, no, oh, you curse too much. You know, I'm a libertarian. I'm a libertarian. Fuck it. I am not a conservative. And that's just, that's another shit that's been getting me pissed off. Like, I could give a shit. I'm egalitarian as well. I, you know, equal rights for everyone. As long as you're not hurting other people. I'm not trying, I'm not going to tell other people how to live their lives, though. But don't tell me how to live mine. Don't tell me. Don't tell me shit. That's why in the beginning of the show, if you don't like what I say, fuck off. Because there are different things that I find interesting. There, there. Honestly, I want to interview a transsexual because it boggles my mind. Anyone that would want that was born one sex that like that's something I want to explore. Do I agree with the lifestyle? No. Do I believe they should die because they have that those those thoughts, those feelings? No. Do I want it? Maybe. Do I want to at least explore it and, and see? You know, to get some understanding. Yes. Do I believe it's a mental disorder? Of course. Yes. I believe it's a mental disorder. I believe people like that need help, not hate. And I know I'm gonna probably lose some lose some uh, listeners, lose some supporters for this. And if you don't like, honestly, email me at crotchshotradio at yahoo.com and let me know what you think about this. Cause I'm interested. I'm interested in knowing. I believe that homosexuality is a mental disorder. Especially how some of them act. They they put on a feminine mannerisms or masculine mannerisms when it comes to lesbianism. Is it really natural? That's what I need to. Un- that's what I would love to understand. Is homosexuality really natural? And you know what? And I want to have the freedom. To be able to ask those questions without someone being like, you're a bigot. You should accept it. No, no, nothing should be blindly accepted. That's not how life works. That's not how you fucking discover shit just by accepting things as well. It is what it is. Why is it what it is? Why is this the way it should be? What if what if what if it isn't the way it should be? We just accepted it because we're too fucking lazy. Like that's the thing with Trump. Why we we can't no. I refuse to just accept it because he's our president. Yeah, he's our president, but he works for us. We do not work for him. If he has a policy that we agree with, yes, we work 
with him to hopefully get it passed. To get it enacted. If it's something we don't agree with, we call them and be like, the fuck? What are you doing? No. Bad president. Bad president. Look at the Constitution. Do your damn job. He is a public servant. Not our God. He is a leader that we elected to perform a service. A service that he campaigned for. That he auditioned for. That he interviewed for. With the American people to get. Someone that he he beat out another candidate. Who frankly it is worse. Is worse. And again, look at my past episode episodes. He was never my first choice. I wanted someone like Ron Paul. And he's like, oh, well, Ron Paul would have did this. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, yes, I know. With Ron Paul, my life probably would have sucked for a little bit. Because a lot of shit would have would have uh, went away. But I would have struggled. I would have scrimped. I would have saved. I would have worked. My ass off to, to 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 succeed because you know I have confidence in fucking succeeding and doing what 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 I need to do. I fucking su- I fucking succeed, but you know what? It's it's like <laughs> like come on, come on. <laughs> Like, what are we doing here? I mean, I was going to go into this news and shit, but I really just want to discuss. I really want to talk to Trump supporters. I want to talk to you guys. I, I hope hopefully this gets to you. Again, my 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 contact information, crotchshotradio at yahoo.com. Email me. But actually email me because you know what? Don't be like the left and be like, oh, you fucking nigger and you fucking Hitler and shit. I'm going to kill you because you know what? That's some faggot shit. I mean, don't be a faggot. Or if you want to text me, my number is 347-927-6824. You could text me, uh, Skype me at Crutch Shot Radio. I actually got it open. Um... I got the I got the crutch out radio lines open. Again, you go so follow me on Twitter at Louis B One. Uh my uh Facebook, Facebook.com slash Louis B comedy. Even though, you know, this ain't too much comedy. Like that is not how this works. We don't just be like, oh well, he's he's got Emperor Trump. No, he is but a man, flesh and bone. He is fallible. I mean, I thought I just said he got Emperor Trump because it was so fucking silly, and it was funny. But now we're gonna be now we're gonna be bombing yet another brown country. Can someone tell me what Assad has anything? Is Assad a threat to the United States? Has he been a threat to the United States? Like, why the fuck do I have to worry about Assad? Why the fuck should I want him ousted? If he's bad for his people, that's an issue between him and his people to get him out. Have a fucking coup. Fix their own government. It ain't up to me. I got no I got no fucking quarrel with no type of Syrian. It's none of my business what they want to do with their own country, what the fuck they're doing. If he actually did gas his own people to death, yeah, he's an asshole. But unfortunately, until he becomes a threat to the United States, 
more more selfishly, if he becomes a threat to Brooklyn, New York City, fuck them. Fuck them all. None of my business. So sorry. In fact, let Russia smack him down if he if they believe he did shit. They 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 asked Russia to be in their country and do shit. I'm pretty sure they be. I'm pretty sure they made the the ultimatum. Hey, if you fucking gas your people, we're done with you. We'll probably fuck you up. And they have yet to do nothing to him. How can you see into my eyes like open doors? So, I don't know. We got shit to worry about over here. How's about, how come, how come we're not worried about the baby? Like, when my sister made this, made this point. We're worried about fucking babies in Syria. What about the babies in Flint, Michigan? Or in Albany? Hmm? Can't get no fucking clean water. Huh? Huh? I'm all for relaxing regulations, relaxing ridiculous regulations when it comes to the EPA. Because the EPA has fucking stolen people's land for non-environmental uh, threats. And you guys could Google that. John Stossel did a, did, a, uh, did a segment on that. Very interesting. Just Google John Stossel EPA. Watch that video. You'll know what the fuck I'm talking about. But Mr. President, because I know the Crotch Out Radio Show, you know, he might say Infowars, but he loves the Crotch Out Radio Show. This, this is where he, he gets, he listens to all the pretty chicks that I have on this show, which pretty soon I am going to be making this a video podcast. I'm just working out the kinks. If you guys want to help out, go to my, uh, go to my blog, um, rantingluieb.blogspot.com. Make a donation. Help me out. Help me build. Either that or sponsor me. One of them do. Both, if you like. But every dime I, I get in donations, I'll use it towards building a uh, an infrastructure here where I can have uh, video. So that way we can get Mercedes Carrera on video. Or Ada Rodriguez... Well, the other lovely people I have on this show. Or you can buy nutraceuticals for $19.95. Uh, we, we're getting true selenium. Uh, you know, the, the distributor wants to fucking overcharge us and suck a dick. And I uh, got a new shipment of uh, true selenium. So get on auto ship. Yeah, fuck him. <coughs> <laughs> Here, buy my fucking snack oil and suck a dick. <laughs> fucking tie the tie to his ass, tie to his shit boom shish boom ba. Fucking oh, well Trump is Trump is doing 4D chest, is he? Is he? He doesn't need to do all this dumb shit. Ron Paul wouldn't have to fucking bomb fucking Syria to prove a point. Oh, he just bombed. Yeah, and you know what? That's another dumb excuse that I hear. Oh, well, he bombed in Syria to prove to other people that he ain't a pussy. Oh, so you're going to pick on somebody else. You're going to bully someone else to prove that, prove to some other bully that you're a badass? All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, buy my, buy my kelp, and it helps you, uh, grow your dick, and grow your hair, and suck a motherfucker, and kiss my ass. Like... 
Like, that shit really irks me. I'm with my brother it. I'm going to anybody is a pussy. Yeah, you know what? I would rather be put a pussy be be on the right side of history than be like, oh, I'm a warmonger. Fucking war like no. War is never the answer. Unless it's in your self defense, yes. But hello, we um, make America great again. How is bombing Syria making America great again? Can someone answer that for me, please? Again, we're sticking our nose where we weren't asked to be. Call the White House. Call the switchboard and fucking tell them, cut the shit. This bombing Syria is not MAGA. It's not. And you know what? All you Trump Trump nerds, look into libertarianism. Like, honestly, do you really want... Like, okay, you might not like gays. You might not like transsexuals. You might not like, uh, you know, women having an abortion. But, you know, honestly... You can't tell people how to live their lives. You're not. It's not going to happen. This is America. We, the only thing you got to worry about is what the government is doing. Not what you're next door. Not trying to legislate what your neighbor can and can't do. That shit is stupid. Hold Trump's feet to the fire. Quit blindly following him. He... This Syria thing is wrong. It is dead wrong. He's surrounding himself with scumbags. Wake up. Fight. Resist. And honestly, you libtards really... Please, you liberals. Oh my god, please. Just start fucking educating yourselves. Stop being so damn entitled. You won't. And honestly, you know it's funny. One of my friends was a liberal until he finally got himself a real good job, and he saw how much money they're taking on his check because he makes he makes a lot and he doesn't have kids and he's not married and shit. Oh, tell me how he became a conservative. That shit is hilarious. So most people are con are, are fucking liberals until they get a paycheck. So, anyways, I'd like to thank everyone for listening. Please like, please smash that like button with uh, however you're listening to. Please like, comment, and subscribe, or subscribe, comment, and like, or subscribe, like, and comment. Yeah, how's about that? Subscribe, like, and comment. I've been Louis B. This has been the Crowd Shot Radio Show. And as always, from my house to your house. Mahalo. And that's the end of my show. Donk.